Good day! The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, the tourist province of Yerzenka, Kemalia in Western Armenia is included in a list of quiet cities. The National Assembly calls for the formation of the nationwide conciliation on issues related to the fate of Artsakh. The process of destroying Armenian monuments does not stop. Rafi Kortoshan, Nakhakalak swimming pool has reopened after years on activity. The California Lawyers Association is investigating payments to victims of genocide of Armenians. Let's get acquainted with Western Armenia, the city of Akan. Armenia suffers handed over the clean villages to the Syrian government. The construction of the bridge is one of the symbols of Armenian-Georgian friendship. The tourist province of Kemalia in Yerzenka, which stands out for its historical and cultural values, has become the 21st settlement included in a network of quiet city of Western Armenia. The name of the province was formerly Egi. In 1922, it became Kemalia. It is located in the upper Euphrates Basin on a historic Silk Road. The province, which has hosted many civilizations from the past to the present day and whose traditional architecture reflects the rich cultural heritage of Western Armenia, was included in a UNESCO World Heritage at least on April 30, 2021. The National Assembly of Republic of Artsakh adopted a statement calling for the formation of the nationwide unification on issues related to the fate of Artsakh. The National Assembly of the Republic of Artsakh, as the highest representative body with the primary mandate of the people of Artsakh, calls for the nationwide unification on issues related to the fate of Artsakh. In this difficult period of geopolitical realities, when Azerbaijan trying to withdraw the Russian peacekeeping mission continues to regularly shell Armenian settlements, blow up the gas pipeline, tried to intimidate civilians living in the homeland, continue to occupy new territories. The Artsakh National Assembly reaffirms the will and determination of the Artsakh people, the vision of national liberation struggle arising from the right to live freely in this historical homeland. Dear compatriots, the key to existence to Armenian statehood and the security of the Armenian people is in Artsakh. The statement reads. On Western Armenia TV, Rafi Kortoshan, Deputy Director Foundation for the Study of Armenian Architecture, spoke about the preservation of historical and cultural heritage in the occupied territories of Artsakh, which has become almost impossible, as the progress of destroying Armenian monuments does not stop. Rafi Kortoshan also referred to the village of Paruh, which recently came under the control of Azerbaijan, where the cemetery of 9th and 13th centuries were desecrated, being presented as a grave of Azerbaijan is buried there 30 years ago. However, the presented examination can prove that it is a medieval cemetery. The cultural devastation that Azerbaijan is now committing has been penetrated by Turkey for many years in Western Armenia. The pool of Ahalkalak has been opened and will work in 3-4 days, as the water is now heated. The gym is already open and ready to receive visitors. According to the director of the pool, Martin Gabrielian, all the technical problems in the pool have been solved. The pool of Ahalkalak has been operating since 2012. Over the years, various problems have arisen here. Almost every year, the pool did not work for several months. It started not working on August 1, 2018. The initial reason for the closure was that a cleanup has been turned into a severe problem. The Attorney General of the California Bar Association stated that the Council took a fresh look at the behavior of lawyers in key cases of compensation to Armenians for genocide after an investigation conducted by the Times. The Commission had previously punished one lawyer and tried to punish two more in connection with the genocide case. A terrible injustice was committed when the descendants of Armenians killed during the genocide were denied their legitimate claims, said George Cardona, chief legal advisor. According to the legend, after the destruction of Ani, some of its inhabitants come here and meeting a cold-blooded spring founded a new city called Agan. In 1300 to 1321, Armenians who immigrated here from Ani founded their own district with St. Hagop Church. In ancient times, Agan was part of the Second Hague province of Lesser Armenia. In modern times, it's sometimes called Karin, sometimes Harbert, and sometimes Sebastia. At the beginning of 19th century, the Akan city was captured by the Turks. On September 3-4, in 1896, Turks attacked Akan and courts attacked the surrounding Armenian villages, killed residents robbed and burned houses. In the next two decades, Armenia rebuilt the city and life in Akan revived again. In the massacre, the Akan and surrounding villages were devastated by Armenians, most of whom soon become victims of the migration pass. According to the date for 1929, only 41 Armenian residents remained in Akan city. 
Armenian sappers together with the sappers of the Russian Center for Reconciliation of Conflicting Parties in Syria cleaned more than 120,000 square meters of agricultural land and handed it over to the authorities of the Syrian province of Aleppo. According to the Syrians, the joint work of Russian and Armenian sappers made it possible to use a huge amount of arable land and save the lives of hundreds of villagers. A representative of the center said that a work on cleaning explosive objects will continue. Gora Vetisyan, executive director of Rock Department Foundation, and Levan Kupatashvili, vice president of the Georgian Rose Department, monitored the construction of a new bridge at the Bagratashen checkpoint of the Debet River. The bridge called Barak Amutun is a joint Armenian Georgian program founded by European Bank for Reconciliation and Development and the Government of Armenia and Georgia. Levan Kapatashvili, vice president of the Georgian Rose Department, expressed hope that this construction will not be the only joint program. Program. Such projects will be continued in the future. Now musical part Armenian folk song. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.